I've created a lot of 3D printed Ryobi battery power stations, but several people have asked me for a quick way to make one for someone that doesn't have a 3D printer. This uses very inexpensive parts. Here I have some uh, one and a quarter inch PVC pipe. I'm gonna cut it into five inch sections. You can pick it up at Home Depot in small sections or at your hardware store. We're going to use our heat gun to warm up the PVC pipe and then we're just going to push it over the battery terminal to get its shape. I have two small pieces of wire. I'm just going to strip both ends here. And then we're going to crimp on connectors. So we're just going to slip the connector on and we're going to put it in a crimper it's crimped on and we'll do the same for the other side One done. So now we have two small wires ready to go. So we have this Ryobi replacement clip and we can just insert our two small wires. And then we've got our adapter. Just have to make sure we see which side is this side is minus, so we have to make sure we put the minus on that side. And the plus on the other side. And then we're ready to install it. So we can test our socket here. Red goes to the plus side over here on the battery. So we can just slip that on, test it out, and you can see that we're getting 20.6 volts. So we know that the wires and the connector and all are working. We're just gonna trace the battery terminal side around on the piece of cardboard to make an insulator. And then we're gonna cut it out with scissors. the cardboard cutout. It's going to act as an insulator and put that on. Then the tube that we heated up can fit right over and we'll be ready to put the terminals in. So now the cardboard's in there and we can make uh, epoxy putty up and push it down here to hold the clip in where we want it and the epoxy won't stick to the battery. So you can buy these little bottles of uh, epoxy putty at the hardware store. And you, you just break it off and then you mix it up. So you take a section of this and then you just start mushing it together. Using my hands to Mix it.
Now that we've got it all mixed together, I'm gonna shove it down pipe here and jam it around these wires and things. Got it all jammed in there. And now we just have to let it set up. Before it hardens, I'm just checking to make sure the wires are good. So we used a Ryobi hot glue gun just to put a bead of glue around here to hold this in. Just going to put some Ryobi green paint on here and we'll be all set. <laughs> 